Hi there, I'm Ashley Jenkins, director here at Whitaker Tankers. And I'm Mike Hudson, chief engineer at Whitaker Tankers. And we're here ready to bust some popular myths and misconceptions surrounding marine fuels and lubricants. Uh, first one, all cylinder oils are the same. All cylinder oils are the same. I wish, that would certainly make my job so much easier. All cylinder oils have the same function, but that's where the similarities end. Operating conditions, engine design and fuel type all combine to create different conditions within your engine. You need to choose your cylinder oil with care if you are going to protect your engine against costly and preventable wear. This will maximise your engine performance. It's not just about feed rate. So, myth busted. OK, Mike, uh, myth number two. When it comes to cylinder oil, if in doubt, it's better to over than under lubricate. Uh, no, you need to get the feed rate just right. It really is a burning issue. If you are over lubricating, you are essentially burning money. You're also probably not burning off all of the oil, which can leave behind potentially damaging deposits. These can increase engine wear and costly avoidable maintenance. If you over lubricate once, you could be out of pocket twice. Myth busted. Last one for today. To cut greenhouse gas emissions, I must make physical changes to my vessel. Not necessarily true. It is possible for you to not have to make changes physically to your vessel. However, that doesn't mean you can't start to reduce your emissions today. ExxonMobil's marine biofuel is a drop-in alternative. It's already being bunkered in the UK, Singapore and ARA regions. In Singapore and the ARA area, the fuel is 0.5% sulphur residual fuel mixed with fame. In the UK, it is fame mixed with 0.1% distillate fuel, fame being the waste-based fatty acid methyl esters, effectively used oil and cooking oil. These drop-in fuels can help ship operators reduce emissions without any expensive modifications. Myth busted. So thank you, Mike, for having us bust some maritime myths here in the sunny port of Southampton. Ah, no problem. Stay tuned for the next in our series of videos of busting maritime myths. <laughs>